So tell us how you see the web changing in this multi-device world. Tell us your philosophy around that. Yeah, so I see that originally the cloud was thought to be the web. I mean, you have the, the server side and the client as a web that you connect to a service. Maybe you type in writer.zoho.com, mail.zoho.com, whatever. But increasingly the web part of it is becoming an API, an application programming interface to which variety of different kinds of optimized tailored apps connect to it. It could be a web app, it could be a native app, but the key part is it's optimized for the particular device, particular client you are from. So that's how the web is evolving now. So within your customer base, what access devices, how is that shifting in terms of how your customers access Zoho, the applications, the suite, how, do, how is that changing? So if you looked at it three years ago, it's of course 100% web, mm -hmm. pretty much. And now increasingly, and then about, you know, it started to shift, more and more of the people, even through the web, they would come from a smartphone, an iPhone or Android phone. But today, if you look at our usage profile, about, I would say at least 30% of the usage is coming from the actual app installed on a mobile device. And of which I would say iPhone dominates, maybe about 60% and then Android is about 20, 30%. That's how the split is. Even though iPhone and Android are similar in terms of actual numbers shipped, in terms of usage intensity, we see a lot more iOS than Android. And where do you see that world going in the future? So tell us where you see that three years out, five years out. We think it's going to, in the next few years, you're going to see the Zoho app as, as a data repository in the cloud, along with various very optimized apps that are offered for your consumption. And the app won't be tailored to a particular service. It's going to be you know, an app integrating data from different, what you traditionally thought of as different application contexts, your spreadsheet and your CRM your project management, your invoicing, those kinds of integration scenarios. Those are, that's what we are really optimizing on the client side now. And as you think about your product philosophy going forward with this young, super talented team, how should we think about the product philosophy in the, in the far future for Zoho? So I look at the company as, you know, we have a certain vision in this industry. We believe that software has to be done a different way. All the cloud technology, the mobile, all of this gives us an opportunity to reinvent the whole industry. We believe that the current paradigms are broken, both from a technology point of view, as well as from a customer point of view, where just too much money is spent on system integration, too much money is spent on non-value added activities. Mm. We want to liberate the customers from that. We want to focus on the separate the data from the app and, and offer it in a way that the customers are getting a lot of productivity out of it without spending a lot of money on us. So what's the one Zoho app that you think that everybody should get out there and try? I mean, we're all using CRM, we're all using a bunch of the different apps, but tell us one of the lesser used apps that you think could drive tremendous value for business. We are betting heavily on Zoho Mail. There's a lot of investment we are making into it. We are going to surprise people. So surprise us with what? With the innovation that's coming on Zoho Mail, it's already quite good, but we are, we are really you know, putting in a lot of investment in it. So. Give us a little dirt, Sridhar, that's not detailed enough. <laughs> no, I think I'll, I'll, I'll wait till the product comes out and speaks for itself. Okay. We don't pre-announce products. Okay, okay, well we're excited. There's a lot of new design elements to your products as well. So are you influenced heavily by Steve Jobs, by someone else from the design side? Yeah, I mean, obviously every company now has to be influenced by what Apple has done, so it's not unique to Zoho. I mean, just I can say, for example, in the last about a year, we have moved from about 20% of our developers on Mac to about end of this year, about 100% of our developers on Mac. Wow. So that's, you know, that's influence. But that is actually tangibly showing up in the you know, quality of the products that we ship and the design attention that people are paying into. So I, I like to think of Windows as the low rent district on, of the computer in a PC industry. And we are moving off of the low rent district and moving to some taste. <laughs> Any other management philosophies that you'd like to share with the viewers? I, you know, my philosophy is to treat our, first our employees right, so that they ship cool products and take care of our customers and enjoy life. <laughs>
we don't take ourselves too seriously. We're a little bit seriously, but not too seriously. So that's the management philosophy. Well, there you have it. Innovation, fun, and incredible talent all together at Zoho. Thank you.